Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add the shopping cart API to a Flutterflow project. It currently has these six endpoints, and in this app, all we need to use in our own Firebase is the burgers collection for our menu items and a user's collection. Everything else is handled by these endpoints. So starting with authentication, when a user signs up for the very first time and creates an account, we're going to add a create cart action and pass in the user ID that corresponds to the authenticated user. Next, when we go to the menu page, and each of these items has a description, when we want to add an item, we'll just call the add to cart endpoint and pass in the user ID once again. The item reference, which is the current burger item that we're on, and its reference. The quantity comes from the widget state of the count controller. And the item price is also located in the current items price field. Then we will want to check out, we first get that current cart. So we query an API call, get cart, and pass in the user ID. When we want to actually display the items that are in the cart, the get cart response gives us a list of items that we then use to generate this list view. So we select the get cart response and its items. And then each of these containers within the list view then corresponds to an item that has an item reference. And here we'll just query our burgers collection using a custom function that matches that item reference to the actual burger in our collection. So we get the item reference of the current cart item and we match that to get the document reference of the burger. So then we can get the properties of that burger document, such as the name, so burger document name, and the price and the quantity comes from that cart item and its quantity field. The subtotal comes from the get cart response and its subtotal field. When we want to delete an item, we'll just call remove from cart, pass in the user ID, and then the item reference, which is the document ID of that current burger. Then when we call check out, we'll just call submit cart, pass in the user ID of the authenticated user once again, and that will just allow it to show up on the admin side. So within the incoming orders, we first query for the API call, get submitted carts, and then within the list view, we generate the children based off of the submitted cart response or the submitted cart field within the get submitted carts response. That allows us to get specific information within that cart, such as the number of items. And that cart item is then passed into the details page as a parameter here this current item. Okay, that then goes to the order details. And here we can see that we have that parameter. And we can query for in our users collection for the users who the user ID matches our passed in parameter cart and its user ID field. And then within the list view here, we generate the children, similar to the checkout page, we generate the children 
based off of the items field of our current cart. And then each of these containers then is a single item that we here we query our burgers document with the same custom function passing in that item reference that corresponds to the current item and from there we can get things like the image as well as the name and the quantity comes from that cart item and then finally, when we mark as complete, we call the empty cart endpoint, pass in the user ID, which corresponds to that user document that we queried. So get the user's documents, UID, confirm, and that just clears the existing cart. So here we are in test mode. I'm going to log in as a user. At the very start, when we go to our cart, we see that it's empty. And then let's add quantity two, add item. When we view our cart, we see that we have the item quantity two and the subtotal. Then I can delete that item and the price, the subtotal is updated. Let's add an item back in. Okay, now let's check out After clicking checkout, we can navigate to the admin page and log in as an admin account. View orders. Here we see the order that was just placed. The number of items is two. And here we can have the user information and mark as complete. Going back to the user account, let's just double check that the cart was cleared. Okay, cool. We see that the cart is now empty.